Hello and welcome to the Grumpy's Rehabilitation Facility. Uh, this is a, uh, for you that don't know, uh, for the new subscribers, thank you for subscribing, but uh, this is gonna be a rant video, cause like, I do this, uh, these kind of videos every Sunday, so, yeah, it's, it's just a thing that I do every Sunday. So, um, yeah, let's cut to the intro and let's talk about some star centers and stuff. Hello, my name is Grumpy, Grumpy, Grumpy Guy. If you're not new to my channel, you do know that like every time I do one of these videos, I start off with talking about the channel. So let's talk about the channel for a second here. Uh, the channel has grown. Um, it's just amazing. I, I have no idea where the subs are coming from, but yeah, keep them coming, guys. Uh, thank you for subscribing and um, thank you for being awesome. Stay being awesome. Um, also, thank you to my patrons. We have just hit 100 uh, euros a month, which is just amazing because I still don't have uh, 1,000 subs. If you want to become a patron, click on the link below, like in the info section, and uh, yeah, you can become one and you can support the channel uh i have been trying to post more videos over there but like the dog and like she's re in a really bad state again she has parasites and and uh, like uh like she's teething and i need to fucking watch her all, all the time and if i if i i if i if I let her go for like five minutes, she's gonna eat a guitar or, or, or something like that. So, yeah, just just bear with me. Sorry about this, guys. Like, I, I, I know I, I want to post more, but like, I, I have no time to do that. Anyway, let's talk about Star Citizen. As you may know, the next week should be fun because... Um, well, we're gonna have IAE happen, and uh, we have five new ships. Not one, not two, not three, not four, but five new ships. Uh, and we also have a few new ships on the way that should be released anytime soon, uh, like the Scorpius. And the thing is, all of those ships are better than whatever we have right now in the game. And that is not like coincidental, it's just like... <laughs> convenient right because like you have the a2 which is a better uh, m2 uh, you have uh, the well the 400 eyes trash but it, it's beautiful and that's it well uh, then you have the Ares ships which are better than the vanguards uh, and then you have the uh, redeemer which is better than the Connie and then like all of the other sh like the freelancer and, and ships like that so basically people are gonna spend a shit ton of money on the game uh, in the next week also we will have a bunch of people buying lifetime insurance uh, like as tokens or just buying a shit ship with, which has uh, LTI and then waiting for another ship to go on sale so, so they can like CCU to it uh, from that little piece of shit that, 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 that they bought just to have LTI on a bigger ship. And that's like, if you, if you do that, I mean, okay. Uh, if you see it as an investment, uh, okay, I'm not sure, like, how are you investing uh, into yourself, you, you may be investing into the game, and that's fine, but, like, if you see it as an investment for the future, for yourself, or the org, well, it's still a game, guys, like, it is still a game, and you, like, if you're investing, you should invest in your business or, or something like that, but... If you buy LTI you, you, or like LTI tokens, uh, you, you need to know that, that that is just a trap. It is a trap. And uh, once you send them the, the, your money uh, for the LTI token, uh, and if you like buy, because I know that like a bunch of people are going to buy like 10 fucking Argo Cargos if they come with an LTI. Like, we're not, still not sure which ships are, or which vehicles are gonna come with the LTI. But every year we have uh, a CAG uh, selling a bunch of like trash ships like Argo Cargos or like uh, Tumblr uh, Cyclones or like uh, it could be vehicles like, uh, I don't know, Dragonflies with LTI because they know that people want LTI or lifetime insurance. And once uh, you give them your money, and once you buy 10 uh, dragonflies just to have LTI so you can CCU or upgrade after that to, to, to a better ship and still have the LTI, well, once you give them your money, that money is not yours anymore. 
Like, that, that, that's basically how it works. It's just like live money that you just burned. So you, you bought like 10 uh, uh, ships for, for, I don't know, for future. And you're just gonna have them in your inventory just waiting uh, to be upgraded. So uh, that is a deck move that CAG is playing. Like, that, that, that's a really, really... Uh, scummy and scammy uh, thing to do that's basically just like buying gift cards and just waiting to use the gift cards and at some point you may fucking forget or you may not be even interested in, in the game anymore and you you just lost your money f for no fucking reason but if you want to do that you go ahead you like spend your money I, I don't fucking care but I just wanted to like uh, voice my opinion because like I know that a bunch of people are gonna do that and uh, yeah anyway the good thing is for you that are gonna do that um apparently like we are just gonna get like better and better ships because like Ares is better than the vanguard uh fucking redeemer is better than any connie etc etc like a a2 is is better than the m2 so um they're probably not gonna release a shit ship anymore or a or, or a, like a small uh fighter that is not as good as an arrow or not as good as a gladius but it sits there they're probably not gonna do that they're probably just gonna release better and better ships so uh because that's that's their thing they are like you look at the scorpius scorpius is better than the fucking vanguard corsair is better than the connie uh it, it sits like right in between or maybe it will be better i i, I, I forgot I, I actually bought the corsair <laughs> i forgot like which weapons it has i know that it has like four size five power uh, controlled weapons which like none of the uh, ships in the game have right now so it's gonna be amazing compared to like most of the ships and like you know that like i mean i i love the design and i love the loners that i got with it but you know that it's gonna be better than like pretty much everything and it's gonna gonna just wreck everything and uh, uh that's just the game that cag is playing uh trying to get more money out of you and uh, okay good luck like if, if you're gonna buy ships uh d during uh, iae fucking okay but consider this they've just released the aries inferno you, you can try it out in the uh, ptu you can see it on the uh, video right now um uh, the Ares Ion and the Ares Inferno, uh, they are the same ship, they're pretty much the same ship, a bit different, but like the most difference is the main gun, and they just like did like a reskin, like they did the same ship twice or just reskinned it to have like two ships and they are asking money for those ships, o of course you will be able to buy it in the game at some point, but it's still the same ship yes it maneuvers a bit like differently but you can still do it by like adding weight to, to things and, and stuff like that but it is the same ship and they're asking double the money why not just make the weapons interchangeable so you can actually like have one ship like you bought one ship and you bought the other cannon or what or the gatling whatever and you can just like change you mean you know like change things <laughs> on the fucking ship and once you change it the maneuverability and uh, the, the stats change according to the gun that you have but no that doesn't make enough money like you have connies a bunch of connies that are pretty much all the same they have slight differences but why why, why are they not modular because we are talking about like modularity forever now but no, that doesn't make money, hence different ships, and that's it. And like, if you look at the Redeemer, the Redeemer is so poorly done, like the interior is just like, wow. It's like I made it in fucking uh, Space Engineers. It's like reusing assets from other ships, okay, I get it, but like the layout and like the interior is completely blocky and it looks like it's made in fucking space engineers and it's probably just made to make money and that's it like why focus on the interior if you are gonna sell the ship because of the sheer firepower that it has if you are not new to my channel you probably saw some of the videos that i 
posted like some time ago. Like uh, for instance, I I like rewatched the Citizen Con from 2019, and most of the shit that they fucking announced in 2019, we still still don't have in the game. Like I'm just gonna say that they like announced server meshing, and apparently we're gonna get static server meshing in January, maybe or or maybe like in March. But like that is still not dynamic server meshing, and maybe like if you look at the roadmap, you will see that like dynamic server meshing should be done in July, but what, then like why release static server meshing? And if you do not know the difference uh, with, with, between the static and the, the dynamic server meshing, well, it's basically this. Uh, static server meshing is static, and <laughs> dynamic is dynamic. No. Um, for so basically for static server meshing uh one instance uh, like one server is gonna run like one of the systems or uh it doesn't need to be like a Santon system it could be like crusaders mini system like moons around crusader and every time uh, when you like jump from point to point your jump is gonna be pretty much a loading screen where you could jump from uh, server to server that could potentially allow for more players to be on the same server but like uh, they're probably not gonna do uh, static server meshing uh, on like uh, planets maybe like planet systems Ma maybe they are but here's the problem what happens if like everyone decides everyone for like uh, the, the whole uh, a server mesh like with all the servers everybody decides to go to Orison because there's a big party on Orison or uh, maybe Grimhex because I know that I'm at some point I'm gonna uh, be playing my songs uh, on Grimhex somehow I'm gonna like make a stage there or, or something uh, so how how do you do that without crashing the server well you don't the servers are gonna crash or they're gonna be really really laggy well that's where dynamic server meshing comes into play so the dy dynamic server meshing follows the like migration of players so if you have a bunch of players in one spot like in one area like a jump town or i don't know a floor in a hotel there's gonna be a server that spawns over there just for those players so basically the servers will track uh, the players dynamically and that's why it's called dynamic server meshing now granted that is really really hard to do it's really hard to pull off but it's not impossible a bunch of games already did that and you can see like games with like thousands of players uh, congregated at one spot and that's like already working but like after 10 years star citizen still doesn't have that so maybe we will have a dynamic server meshing by july like if you look at the roadmap it should be done by july of next year but if we're gonna get static server meshing they're probably gonna figure out that they fucked up a bunch of stuff and then they're gonna postpone uh the dynamic server meshing and yeah i could be just a pessimist but I'd, we'll see i guess i mean to be honest i have a single rule in, in life and that's like prepare for the worst hope for the best and uh yeah i'm just preparing myself for like heartbreak <laughs> Because, <laughs> as I was saying, like, in 2019, they said that, like, the first instance of server meshing will be done uh, by, like, the end of 2020. And it's, like, the end of 2021, and we still don't have server meshing. Okay, maybe we'll get, like, uh, an actual good server meshing uh, in, in January. Maybe it'll work. Maybe, but probably not, because you know how CAG is. Like, like, everything that could go wrong will go wrong. It's like, CAG is pretty much, like, ran by <laughs> Murphy's Law. Like, that's the only law they have. <laughs> I don't know. But, like, the weirdest thing about, like, IAE is that, uh, well, people are going to spend a lot of money. And uh, for what? For, for what game? Because we still don't have a game. We have an, a, an announcement of salvage being in the game uh, in the next, like, six to nine months. Which is cool, because we really, really need some new game loops, and we really need, like, these game loops that we have right now in the game to work. Because, like, when I say we, I say I. Because, <laughs> like, I, I, I just... Uh, 
I'm burnt out uh, and I, I'm trying to play other games. I hopped into War Thunder a few days ago just for a video and I, I immediately rem remembered like why I uh, stopped playing the, the game. I, I mean, I knew, but I hope that in like the past five years something changed for the better and it didn't. So yeah, like I need a game that resembles Star Citizen that has like dogfights and shit to play and uh, for some reason i don't have aisle 2 in my um uh, steam store so i, I gotta rebuy it and uh, yeah that's that's gonna cost me a lot and that's the main topic i want to touch upon in this um uh, video like i seriously do not know like what kind of videos to make anymore like i've been doing this for a few months now i know that there are youtubers that were doing this for like years now like 10 years and they still <laughs> say that it's still an alpha and they don't fucking play it but they still make videos like they play it once in a while and i don't want to be that guy i don't want to be a youtuber that plays once in a while and just like hops on uh makes a video about like or like drops all the fucking knowledge that isn't even fucking knowledge because how can you know something when you're not playing the fucking game right so <laughs> I want to play the game. I really do. I I love when I'm like playing with my work. Like they are they are like really really good people and really funny and, and I love them. But like we are just playing other games now and um, like when the main topic here is like when is fixing bugs gonna be a priority for uh, CAG? Like. Yeah, there's gonna be a white knight in the fucking comments telling me that I have never played an alpha because I don't know how to fucking play an alpha because you gotta shut the fuck up about the bugs and you just need to, like, uh, I don't know, like, appreciate the graphics or whatever. No, that is not an alpha. Like, alpha is when you play the game or the alpha and then give feedback to the developers and they fix shit and introduce new shit but like they fix the old shit and stuff like that like i know that like a bunch of my subscribers are just like giving up on the game and it, it is completely understandable i don't i do not want this channel to turn into like a wine channel or or, or like a salt channel like there's no fucking point in making that but on the other hand, I really cannot make videos about how glorious and magnificent this game is and try to like promote it because it's not. It is simply not. It, it's it's not even a fucking tech demo. Like we don't have enough tech to call it a tech demo. And now the the, the guys are just like the, the guys that <laughs> pretty much the same people that are saying that like oh it's still an alpha. You you need to know how to play an alpha. They are fucking amazed and, and just like excited about volumetric clouds and like that's not the big deal. Like fucking War Thunder has volumetric clouds. I'm pretty sure that like, I don't know, Farming Simulator has volumetric clouds. Like uh, one of my org mains just said like it just happened a few minutes ago. Like he said that... Uh, the the planets like the microtech doesn't look as fucking dead as it did before and i mean i could agree to a point but like once you land there you will realize how fucking dead that planet is how dead every fucking moon is and okay i have patience we're still waiting on a game we're still waiting on things to get like developed and to be introduced to the game but what were we getting we're getting fucking player slide mechanic like we're getting inventory system like in 3.15 we got an inventory system after fucking nine years of development we we have tier minus one it's not even fucking tier zero you can't even fucking call it tier zero inventory system because it's bullshit it doesn't have um control click it doesn't have shift click uh you can't select multiple things it doesn't have a search bar it doesn't have a bunch of shit that like most of the fucking cheap ass programs have like you have those on the phone you have those on the fucking on windows you have like whatever whatever fucking game you play you will have those fucking things but we don't get that why 
why introduced bullshit fucking mechanics to the game after you said that you're not gonna do that anymore but you're gonna do like fleshed out mechanics because you're focusing on squadron 42 which like in the long run we like the star citizen players are gonna prosper from that like why introduce the bullshit fucking thing when you're gonna change it again and redo it like why even bother what what is that fucking bullshit that's like buying time to i don't know sell ships and get more money because like i i i seriously don't fucking get it and please spare me with the it's an alpha bullshit because like it's an offense it's just a joke like it, it is just a fucking meme that people say but some people just fucking take it seriously like did you play mountain blade 2 like it's it's an alpha but it fucking works it's fleshed out it, it doesn't have maybe it has a few bugs but it doesn't have as many but like all fucking games in the world have bugs that's fucking obvious you you you, you can't fucking release a game without a bug you, you're gonna find it and if you're still developing the game after after the release you're gonna flesh it out and that bug is gonna be gone but like squad was in an alpha for for a, a while i'm not sure if, if it's an alpha still it's probably a beta and it had like the most funny like the funniest fucking bugs ever and once people figured out how to fucking uh, make them happen they were taken out because like the developers wanted to fucking flesh out the game because they wanted to release the game they wanted the game to be a pleasant experience for the player so more players would join and play the game and like this we we like what what is star citizen it is just a fucking niche thing that like some people do like some people play some people have and they spend money investing under quotations uh, for uh, in the future of the game which like are we sure are we certain that it's gonna happen like i would i would love it to happen but like are we sure like how certain are we that this game is gonna fucking pan out because like i can i can hear people talking about oh yeah uh, the beta is gonna be released uh in the next year what the f like this is not even a fucking pre-alpha with this amount of bugs this this shouldn't be even called an alpha this should be called a pre-alpha and that would be fine i would be fine with that i wouldn't fucking whine but in an alpha dude like if you ever play i was a alpha tester of squad the game i was an alpha tester of uh, war thunder the game <laughs> and i was an alpha tester oh fuck i, I forgot uh, a, a, a few more games it, it was like five or six but like those were still like those, those were all alphas and yeah I, I did some like mobile games like i i did some music for them so i was a, an alpha tester but like it that doesn't fucking matter because they were shit but like if you ever played an alpha you would know that like alpha it, developers introduced new shit they're broken they get fixed for the next patch and like if not in the next patch then the patch after that they released some more new shit and it's like a constant grind for the developers but like we still have rocknado <laughs> like the, the rock or the great Edge rock still fucking makes a tornado if you, if you try to mine with it uh, the, the prospector still fucking kills you like we have the same fucking bugs that we had like a year ago that that are just like destroying the fucking gameplay and we don't have enough gameplay to fucking deal with the bugs because like why would you deal with the bugs if if you're just gonna if if there's no fucking gameplay like literally like 3.15 I, I tried it I, I hopped in i was like okay let's fucking grind i, I had my grind mentality like i was just like all grind like, I, I woke up and i was like okay let me <laughs> let me get a protein shake because i'm gonna be grinding so fucking much in this game today and then what i tried doing the fucking uh bounty missions and the bounty missions don't spawn they don't spawn immediately so you gotta wait for them and then they spawn and when they spawn the marker is not on them so you gotta wait for the marker while evading the mission like like the, like the target you gotta evade it so you don't don't get killed but you can't shoot at it because the marker is not on it if you shoot it the game will not realize that you fucking killed the, the bounty so it's just gonna like 
fail the mission or the mission is just gonna go forever and it takes fucking eight minutes just to like when you get there when you get there it takes eight minutes to make anything happen and that's straight up bullshit like don't don't even get me started on the fucking medical gameplay and and the bugs revolving around that or the fact that the fucking quantum system is still bugged and you can't like fucking four out of ten times you cannot jump to your target and you need to realign or you need to jump to another uh, station or whatever or orbital marker doesn't matter so you can jump to your target or you can jump or, or you're going to jump to through a planet or whatever like why implement why introduce bullshit uh, tier zero or tier minus one gameplay mechanics if you're gonna redo it in a in a like six months period like why why do that why do we need to fucking uh, test it out if you're gonna fucking change it again if if everything is a placeholder like if like people are, are saying uh, w whenever i get pissed off that like both of the elevators in grim hex are doubled and you can't fucking use them or if you have an elevator shaft instead of an elevator and when i talk about it get people just get pissed off and they tell me well yeah it's still an alpha they're gonna why do that if they're gonna redo grim hex's elevators like why do grim hex's elevators if you're not gonna fix them and make them be the final fucking thing like just do like if you see a bug squash it and make it a fa final pass and that's it like why introduce more and more things instead of fixing the bugs that we already have like development 101 whenever you introduce something new to a game or a program it's gonna break something else and like you keep when you keep on introducing more and more shit you're gonna have an even more broken er if that's even a word game you're, you're gonna have a game that's completely bro broken and if you tell us that you're gonna fix this at some point when the fuck is that point like you're not even like cag is not even fucking talking about fixing the decent issues well yeah we have all our people on server meshing so we're not gonna fuck with that dudes like desync is it it, it, it it's gonna happen with server meshing because it's a netcode thing it's obviously an echo if you played on an empty server if you went in into arena commander you will still see fucking desync well you may not see as much rubber banding but positional desync yes and like if you remember uh, i think it was like battlefield 3 or, or 4 it doesn't really matter but like when they uh, uh released the game uh, when EA released the game, it was just like a shit show because of decent, because of like people are shooting where they are not looking, or when you shoot a guy, uh, you're shooting at, the, at, at at his model, but his hitbox is not there because it was a netcode thing, and they fucking fixed it ASAP because like you can't really play a game in that state, right? He, imagine any other game having players just being non-corporeal or invisible to other players because they died and respawned like that would be a fucking scandal dude like literally that would be a scandal and in star citizen well it's just one of those things i mean how can we say that this is the greatest fucking game ever and that we are so stoked about it if we're just swallowing bullshit every fucking day come on like seriously is this game ever gonna be released no fuck no probably not who, who the fuck knows do developers even know where they're going i'm pretty sure they don't like you know the worst thing i didn't want to talk about this in a while but i'm so pissed off because i really want to play this game because it is my dream game it is it, it's a dream game of all of us but like you remember when like chris roberts told the community like in, in an interview or whatever that like his daughter played star citizen for the first time and she was like 
uh, what the fuck is happening with the... Well, she didn't swear, but she asked, like, what's happening with the AI? Because, like, NPCs are just standing on chairs and tables. Like, that's not realistic. You know what happened, like, when the next patch dropped? The NPCs fucking worked. I mean, therefore, she should play more of this game, right? Because, like... Please, Chris's daughter, please play more Star Citizen because, like, we're dying here. <laughs> I mean, if that's the only way to get things fixed, just play. Like, can we donate to her <laughs> to fucking play the game, please? Oh, Jesus. I don't know. I, I like, this whole thing was a tangent. Like, I, I don't know what, what the fuck I'm saying anymore. Because, like, I don't know what else to say about this game anymore. So, I'm going to leave you with this. Thank you for hanging out with me. And uh, thank you for watching. And don't forget to bring a towel when you're traveling through space. And ta ta da 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 Fuck my life. I mean, subscribe and just like tell me what are, what other game to fucking play. Like, and don't say Elite Dangerous, please. Cause no, fuck no. Just like, don't say War Thunder, obviously. Just like, can somebody make a good game, please? Uh, a, a good space game where we can dogfight and like do shit. Like, CAG, please fucking make the game. Thank you. Love you. Bye. Mwah.